Today, we're diving deep into the exciting world of foldables, specifically the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung recently unveiled this powerhouse device alongside its foldable sibling, the Z Flip 6. But wait, there's more. Google is joining the party by optimizing some of its popular apps to take full advantage of a Z Fold 6's unique form factor. So if you're considering this foldable beast or if you were just a tech enthusiast like me, let's see what Google has cooked up. First things first, Google has announced optimizations for three key apps, Circle to Search, Gemini, and YouTube TV. These updates aim to make these apps run smoother and unlock new functionalities specifically designed for the Z Fold 6's large foldable screen. Circle to Search is a fantastic tool that's getting even better on the Z Fold 6. This feature lets you use your camera to scan text, translate languages, and even identify objects. But here's the exciting part. Circle to Search on the Z Fold 6 can now tackle symbolic math and physics problems. Imagine this, you're stuck on a tough equation. Simply unfold your Z Fold 6, open Circle to Search, and point the camera at the problem. With the app's magic, you might just get the solution you need right there on your expansive screen. Circle to Search can also scan barcodes and QR codes, making it a true all-rounder for your foldable needs. Next up, we have Gemini, your on-demand Google Assistant. While you're watching a video on the Z Fold 6 of Big Screen and activate Gemini, its interface can now be moved to one side of the screen. This creates a fantastic split-screen experience. Need info about the video you're watching on YouTube? No problem. Ask Gemini, and the information will appear right next to the video, making research a breeze. Call in all sports fans. This one's for you. Google has revealed that YouTube TV subscribers can now watch up to four videos simultaneously on the Z Fold 6 massive screen. Imagine catching four different live games all at once. The videos will be displayed in a 2x2 matrix format, perfect for keeping up with all the action. It's important to note that this feature is currently limited to live sports, but who knows what the future holds. Google didn't specify, but there's a chance this feature might also come to older Galaxy Fold devices and tablets. While not directly related to the Z Fold 6, Google's press release also mentioned some exciting updates for the Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch Ultra. These smartwatches boast the title of being the world's first to run Wear OS 5. This update promises a significant boost in battery life thanks to improved power efficiency. You'll also get a new watch face format to personalize your watch experience along with enhanced media output options. But that's not all. The watches run one UI sticks watch on top of Wear OS 5. This software duo brings the power of Galaxy AI to your wrist. Expect personalized health tips powered by AI, more accurate sleep tracking, and energy score to monitor your activity levels, and pre-built workout routines to help you reach your fitness goals. The collaboration between Google and Samsung is exciting news for foldable fans. Google's app optimizations unlock new possibilities for the Z Fold 6, while the Wear OS 5 update empowers Galaxy watches with enhanced functionality. Whether you're a productivity powerhouse, a sports fanatic, or just someone who loves the latest tech, these updates offer plenty to get excited about. As always, if you have any questions about the Z Fold 6, the Galaxy Watches, or anything else tech-related, leave a comment down below and let's chat. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tech content. Until next time, stay curious and stay Today, awesome. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra, but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5X optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3X optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3X zoom and ultra wide sensors are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option, and not just any RAM, but the industry first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, 
The S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.